My name is Eric Lyon, and I'm a composer. That's really my background. Um, I started composing when I was 11 years old, and by the time I was 13, I decided that, that was really what I wanted to do with my life. And so that determined my education. The class Digital Sound Manipulation is a class I created for Virginia Tech, and it really came out of my initial experiences in teaching music technology to music students. And so I thought, well, what if I were to create a class that was basically computer music for the people? And so rather than starting with all of this theory, I, I get people working with free software. That was an important point because I wanted to create a class based around programs that they could open up. They could you know, look and see what was under the hood. And some of them, if they wanted to, they could later go on and maybe extend these programs. My favorite part of this class is watching the students discover how creative they are and what they can do and sharing that with each other. But this, this is a class where I think the only way you can learn is by co-learning. There's a certain kind of enthusiasm and, and excitement that comes from being in the class with a lot, a lot of other people who are trying things out with you. And then, and then the aesthetics of what they do, what they try, to, what they actually produce, the kind of music that they make is 100% up to them and is not subject to uh, assessment. So, so, so the students really feel safe to do whatever they want. And so, they're all exploring, they're going in different directions, but they also have been given permission from the very start to, to explore cre creatively. And they're in a room with other students who are also enjoying that permission too. And they're seeing how different students go in different directions. I think one of the main direct ways that it fits into the Pathways curriculum is that it's, it's what we call a hands-on, minds-on class. It's, it's about as intensely hands-on, minds-on as, as you can imagine. And coming to this as a musician, it's the most natural thing in the world. Because if you think about it, playing a, mus playing a musical instrument is hands-on, minds-on. But there, there's a different and a, a very different kind of strength to a heterogeneous classroom. And you have the possibility that, let's say, a computer, computer science student could be inspired by an idea that's coming from a fine arts student. Or a fine arts student might be inspired by somebody who is uh, focusing on aerospace engineering. That's something you can't get in a major class. So that, that to me, developing that strength, which I think is an inherent strength, of general education is something that I really try to emphasize in the structuring of this class. How did the course materials contribute to the exhibit in the library? We basically just went into the work that the students had done <laughs> and, my, and, and my job was done. That was really the <laughs> easiest part. We just went and said, well, let's look at some of the artwork, some of the interactive computer uh, sound work that they did and Let's just put it up in the library on a computer. And we were done. I mean, the students made, made that task so, so easy because they had, they had done such, such be beautiful and, and, uh, and charming and clever and engaging work. So it was just a matter of, oh, we'll do a little bit of this, we'll present this, we'll present this. The benefit of having the class in the library is first of all, our students throughout tech find out about it and can experience firsthand what students in, in a previous class had done. And the, the exhibit actually created a great deal of enthusiasm for the class. Unfortunately, by the time the exhibit was up, the, the class was fully subscribed. So I had a lot of students writing to me, oh, please, can I be in the class? <laughs> but long term, it's, it's absolutely great because my take on what this class is it's a, it's a very special, unique thing, in, in my opinion. Every class at Virginia Tech cannot be like this. I, I mean, it's, it's just simply the case. 
maybe 99% of the classes at Virginia Tech can't be like this. But I, I have this, this theory that, that, that every organization, institution, university needs to have a place where people go to dream. And I envision this class as a space for, for students to dream together out loud, to experience what that is, and to hopefully come out of the class refreshed and bring some of that energy into their learning in other classes.